Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today I have a Shop Miss A haul. Ooh, ooh. I, uh, I have, haven't bought from them in ages. And um, it was a comment from one of you guys. And you were like, oh, I like that from Shop Miss A or something. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot about them. So the great thing about Shop Miss A is <laughs> I got this giant bunch of stuff for only $30 or it was, yeah. Some things, everything is, it's like dollar store, but with like the exception. So not everything is a dollar. Is it a dollar or a dollar fifty? I can't remember. You know, the concept is that um, it's like really cheap, <laughs> but there's a few items that are, you know, $5 or $10 and not everything's a dollar, and so they have some kind of deluxe items. I picked these Glow Baby Highlighters Illuminating Drops because they're basically the same as the Cover FX um, drops, but um, what's funny is I have a sample, like a deluxe sample thing from Sephora of the Cover FX drops, and that's the size uh, they are. So let's take a look here. Illuminating liquid drops to customize your ideal glow. All right, let's take a look. See, this one is shade Goddess. It's like all over the tube, but not in the tube. Uh -huh. I have the same problem with the cover effects. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Ooh, it just kind of blends out sheer. You could really, you could put that anywhere. I am, okay, so Goddess, I have a feeling I'm gonna like this one. Morning Glow. Holograph, that makes sense. Um, Super Glow kind of pinky. This one's pretty afterglow. This one has some specks. It's a little, it's got a little bit of glitter. And then morning glow. This looks kind of like, like this one's going to be my jam. Cover effects. Um, drops are like $40, $30 a bottle. I find that to be very uh, expansive. Yeah, this is really, they, maybe these aren't very good, I don't know. They kind of blend out to almost nothing. Um, but this one is still looking good in terms of that. So, okay, you know, what's, what do you got to lose? I think this was $10, this was a little more money. This, they have a few items that are designated for charity, so when you purchase this, Proceeds go to uh, children's education. So it says, the portion of proceeds from A plus edition products will go to local and international charities to support children's education from school supplies to building schools. So I picked out this, I don't need any more brushes, but this brush set looks kinda nice. And look, it comes with the little protector thingies and they feel amazing. They're synthetic, they're really cheap. Um, wow, they feel good. They feel good. So I have such good luck with really cheap makeup brushes, I have to say. I I don't, I mean, yeah, I have a few of the Wayne Goss and some others, but I like the cheap ones. There's quite a selection of beauty sponges on their website. This one is called the Wonder Blender. Oh, I guess they're all called Wonder Blender Mochi Soft. So they're like really soft and squishy. It's, so it's a dollar fifty-five latex free, dollar eighty-eight. So they're all these are um, are very squishy, and it'll be fun to see what happens to them when they uh, get wet. And we, you know, okay, I just broke the little bag. It's fine. Also, these two are from their A Plus Education. So let me look at this Mochi Soft one. Oh my gosh, it's so squishy soft. Oh, it's so squishy. 
I like it. It does, it, it's like one of those little Japanese ice cream mochi. I'm probably saying that wrong because, you know, that's what I do. This one supports, oh, this one is the Paw Paw. That's right, this charity is each Paw Paw product sold helps support animals in need. Cute, I'm down. This looks just like, what does this look like? The Real Techniques one I just used? Yeah, cool. All right, and then lots of random things in here. I don't remember buying a single eyeshadow. Did they send this to me? Like a little gift with purchase? I don't know, maybe I did. Um, it's called, oh no, I think I bought it. It's not an eyeshadow, it's a dewy cream highlighter. Maybe I bought it because I thought it would be like the Danessa Myrix. It's really soft. Oh, oh wow. Do you see that? It's so subtle. Oh, that's kind of cool. I have so much highlighter going on. I actually have Danessa Myricks on right now, so I don't wanna put that over it, but I cannot wait to try this. This shade is Dream. How fun is that? These remind me just of the L'Oreal, um, the, the concealer in the chubby stick. I have them in darker shades for contouring. And these are called Santee Super Blendable Concealer. I got 02 and 05, which are, they are darker shades. And I did that on purpose. They don't really have, um, it's either they were sold out or their shades ran dark. Yeah. That's nice. I'll let I'll show you. So if you're interested, you can see why 05 compares. If it's much darker. Oh, this is a different. It's oh, it's just different. It's more peachy. Interesting. I don't know. This one might not serve me as well. That's funny. I'm surprised actually. I picked up a eyeshadow crayon, shadow stick, shimmer, twinkle. I'm like, I want to try this because if I like it, I'll get all the shades. Called XL Long Lasting Shadow Stick. It's a good, generous size. Feels good. Ooh, I like it. Okay, last couple items. This was the Lotus contour six color contour palette it's powder uh highlighter and contour shades that's pretty good we'll test it on this arm so you got like a a white oh i always love when the when the bisque kind of you know bisque shades when they feel all buttery soft like that it's like the banana shade this is deep, well, you know. That feels really good. It's the medium. And then what's this one? This one looks good. Ooh, super subtle. So my last item are these Zuri loose powders and Again, I ordered them. I know that they are for women of color. In fact, it says, Zuri, for the woman of color. Loose powder, look at this packaging. Does that just not take you back to old like CoverGirl or Max Factor from the 80s and 90s? I mean, I think that there's still packaging like that even at Walgreens, but it just cracks me up. Um, so it's basically a just a setting powder, and I knew it was gonna be the wrong shade. This is Misty Tan. This one's translucent, but it's translucent for darker skins. Um, you guys know that I do love Black Radiance and Black Opal powders. Um, oh, even some of the Amon products. I am, I just, I love using some things for different purposes. They can make a great bronzing powder, um, and just, 
yeah, some of them, they're the finishing. This is a little messy. And sometimes what has a little bit of tint doesn't necessarily get too, okay, this is scary because this, I don't see, I don't see a shaker. I may have to repot it into something with a sieve or whatever, but the translucent shade looks actually pretty good. Whoa. Whoa. It's, it's, I want to say it's almost like it's wet. You know what I mean? It doesn't claim to be that way. It doesn't feel that way when you touch it, but it's so, I don't, I, I can't tell if it's chalky or dense. Oh, I bet you I could just poke some holes. Wow, Rebecca, you guys are watching this going, poke some holes. Yeah, I will do that. Yeah, so definitely, you know, not the shade of a setting powder for me, but who knows, maybe this makes a good bronzer, but it's also nice for you guys to see uh, shades, even if they don't work for me. So that's, that's cool. I, I mean, it's not anything, you know, it's got your talc and your mica and your whatever in it. Boy, this container is very problematic. Woo! It's basically just like four ingredients. It's got talc and zinc and some other stuff I can't pronounce. But it has a, it's very matte. I don't think it's chalky, it's almost creamy. It's, it's a very interesting texture. If any of you have ever used that, let me know. So that is my Shop Miss A haul. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I feel like it's just in spirit with my bargain channel and since some of you are already using the products then yay spread the word. I know that makeup artists love Shop Masse for their really affordable false eyelashes and brushes. So um, yeah, especially people who are building their kit and you know they're not going to just go to MAC. Um, and even with 40% off, MAC is expensive because that's what artists get is a 40% off discount. But anyhow, <laughs> um, alrighty guys, thank you so much. I will try to list, I will list everything I bought below and you can, um, their website is really cool, really great, easy, and they, uh, are very efficient. And I think I did, I paid through PayPal. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel and you liked this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Maybe you didn't like this video, but you want to give me another shot, then I would appreciate that subscribe subscription for you to subscribe. And thumbs up, comment, yada, yada. We get it. I know, right? Alrighty. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.